and it's another bright evening. We are on the EUL campus and it is Nigerian Independence Day. We are celebrating it here with a beautiful Nigerian. Hello and what is your name please? My name is Tagidin Aminat. Whoa, you are a proud Nigerian, I can see it all over you. How do you feel in celebrating this day? Um, it's really nice being allowed to celebrate this thing and all the... I love the way they allow us to do what we want to do and to display what we want to display as a Nigeria. I'm really happy to be here today. Nigeria! Wow, it's a lovely evening and everywhere is full of life. Indeed, Nigeria is the giant of Africa. We are here with Mr. Ade, Yoruba man from Nigeria. How do you feel about your independence, sir? Yeah, I feel so good. I feel good. Because uh, this environment is very welcoming, especially for Nigerian students and international students. So we feel good. What is the significance of your outfit? Yeah, this is what we call Agbada. It's a Yoruba rare. That's why, I don't know if you heard about uh, Yoruba demon. Now this, you know, Agbada. Mr. Ade is a Yoruba man from Nigeria. What's even in there? Yeah, I'm also peace. But if you look at call as a Nigerian name, celebrating Nigerian independence and it's so nice around here, celebrating the 58th independence of the country and from the Yoruba side, as I said before. What is the difference celebrating it out of home, like out of Nigeria? How do you feel? Oh, well, it's actually very, very amazing celebrating it here right now. Oh my God, seeing so many things like, it's like, oh, I've not seen this kind of independence celebration before, even back home. No, it's not been like this. It's awesome. I like it. Which do you prefer? Celebrating it here or back home? Oh, celebrating it here, of course. So how are you celebrating your independence? Well, I've been here for about 15 minutes and it's been exciting so far. So what is the significance of 1st of October to you? I mean, it's a very significant day because that was the day Nigeria got her independence and it's very, very remarkable for us as Nigerians to mark that particular day. Okay, indeed it's their independence and they are free indeed, serving their fatherland as their, their national anthem says. Whoa, the height. <laughs> I'm really shocked. <laughs> so how do you feel celebrating independence out of your country? Wow, wow, it's quite a uh, wonderful experience. Uh, I bless God that Nigeria is now 58 and uh, I'm celebrating as a Nigeria. I feel like I'm at home. I'm happy. Whoa, so how long have you been in Cyprus? Yeah, I'm almost a year plus now. Yeah, in Cyprus. Yeah. Oh, so what do you expect celebrating Cy um, independence in Cyprus? Uh, there's no way it's going to be like my home country, but I have to thank the management of EU for making it possible and organizing this wonderful occasion for us in Nigeria to feel, uh, feel among and also bring us back the memory from, uh, from, from back home so that we are not left out with the celebration back home. So I'm happy that EUA is organizing this kind of program for us and kudos to them. Indeed, there's no place like home. Mr. Gabriel, how do you enjoy Cyprus in general? Wow, wow, wow. So Cyprus is peaceful and uh, the people are also uh, encouraging and they also their hospitality is, is above the bar. So Cyprus people, they are okay and they are nice as well. That was Mr. Gabriel all the way from Kogi State, Nigeria. Yep. Good evening, Ma. How do you feel celebrating independence in the foreign land? Um, good evening. My name is Solua Tosin, and I'm so excited, like right now, because for the avenue, the school has given us to celebrate our culture outside Nigeria. It's really something mind brain and I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy. Thank you for coming, Ma. So, back to you. How do you feel celebrating independence out of Nigeria? Well, I feel good. I feel good. I feel at home here, so being in Nigeria, being here, I also feel good. Okay. Apart of the independence, how do you feel in Cyprus in general? Well, <laughs> let's say I feel good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good evening and have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you, sweet boy.
Look at all the views in my DM. 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 Sweet chocolate. Pastor Misha, what do you expect from Nigeria at at 58 rather? Yeah, there is a lot of expectation. I think we have not hit our apex yet. I think uh, we are still on the grassroots. There is so much potentials that have not yet been exhibited. So uh, Nigerians, one thing I love about Nigerians, they are very energetic. They are tenacious. They are people that uh, I can say they don't take no for an answer. So uh, I still uh, feel that that potential is yet to be uh, totally uh, kind of utilized so there is much to be uh, uh, to be unveiled uh, concerning Nigeria. How long have you been in Cyprus sir? Well as far back as 2009. Whoa. It's been quite some few years but uh, to the glory uh, I mean glory be to God who has sustained uh, because for me I believe uh, it's not just about moving it's about being uh, where you're meant to be I think uh, that's, and also uh, everyone has a purpose. So when you find your place of purpose, then I think uh, you'll be able to deliver. So it's about fulfillment of purpose. So I think for the meantime, uh, I don't regret being around. So it's been an, an interesting journey. It might not have been smooth, but indeed it has been an interesting journey for me. I love Nigeria. Nigeria for life. Here we are with the president of the Nigerian Association here in Cyprus. How do you feel organizing Nigerians to this extent? I mean, this is lovely. What did it take you to put them together? Um, of course, I will not take the glory to myself. We have um, other executives on ground who helped in one way or the other to make sure that this program today is a success. And I believe they are somewhere out there. They are still working, so I'm still making the rice and the cake and everything. So I believe that um, with their efforts and everything, today's program will be a success. Absolutely. Wow, that's lovely. Can we please know the, in the significance of the Nigerian independence? Um, this is to consolidate the independence of Nigeria and also to preach Nigeria to the whole world especially to the European, the third world countries, the first world and the second world world, to show that Nigeria is a sovereign state and we are independent of any external control or whatsoever. Thank you. Nigeria is 58 years old today. At 58, what do you expect from Nigeria? Um, I expect more than, more than what we have now. You know, uh, life starts at 40, that's what they say. You know, and um, I believe we are still on the transition process from the third world country to at least to the second world, uh, second world country. So it is a transmission, uh, it is a transition process with the Nigeria state. So by the special grace of God, in less than no time, we'll be where we should be. Wow, you're celebrating this out of Nigeria. How do you feel celebrating your independence out of your country, in a foreign land? To celebrate Nigeria independence out of Nigeria, it's really a remarkable thing for me because it's to preach Nigeria to the whole world, like I said. So if we have every country celebrating Nigeria independence, really it will be a very remarkable day. Everybody is going to be aware that, yes, on, this, on the 1st of October, Nigeria got their independence. So it's going to be um, um, like, uh, 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 um, like an ink which is written in the mind of those foreigners that Nigeria is an independent state. Uh, indeed, Nigeria is the giant of Africa, made up of the Yorubas, the Igbos, and the Awuzas, the Muslims and the Christians, not forgetting those who do not go to church or go to the mosques. So on this beautiful day, what do you have to wish every Nigerian out there? I wish every Nigerian happy independence. Although we are celebrating ours a little bit late because of some um, little logistics. And I want to wish every Nigeria a happy independence and uh, they should be good and they should be safe out there. Indeed, it's been an awesome evening, a great evening, and in, indeed the Nigerians have made us proud, shown us the culture of Africa. Good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm good. What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Ibrahim Sununu. 
How did you enjoy the show? How did you enjoy the program? Um, all around, it was a great event. Everybody turned up. Lots of love from everywhere. And I'm feeling the Nigerian hype. This is what Nigeria is about, togetherness. Yeah, so it's been a lovely evening. I just want to say also thank you to the EUL management team, the NAS organizers, the Lefkosia team, the Turkish, the whole Turkish organization, they really did a good job. So kudos to everyone. You know what I mean? One point, pull up to the sun. You know what I'm saying? Take a walk out for you. Hey, pull up on a big. Take a walk out for you. finally over. Hope you guys enjoyed what the Nigerian community at EUL had to offer. Don't forget to carry along your winter jacket and your umbrellas because it's winter season. See you on another episode of Let's Talk Rainbow Colors. Bye!